Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statements and their related solution. Today, we are going to discuss about Azure Databricks and its high level design along with network security. Today's problem statements to understand high level architecture of Azure Databricks and also the network security of Azure Databricks. What is Azure Databricks? Azure Databricks is powerful cloud based big data analytics and machine learning platform built on Apache Spark which has been designed to help organization with various data related activities. If you understand behind the scene under Azure Databricks lot of virtual machine is getting provisioned which will make your Databricks more scalable, high performance and it will be maintained completely by Azure. So why do you need Azure Databricks? To realize big data and advanced analytics to make that solution much more scalable. You will have the machine learning capabilities. It will have the real time data processing and high in performance. Now let's try to understand the high level architecture of Azure Databricks. Azure Databricks has two sections. One is control plane, second is data plane. The control plane is nothing but a Databricks web application interface or a customer no notebooks that you can create or it has job and queues or a cluster management. So with the control plane, you, the customer or the user can interact with the Databricks. Now the data plane, the data plane is nothing but the, uh, the plane, uh, it is the space which is getting created can be created over a customer network which processes the data processing with Apache Spark cluster behind the scene. And with that data plane, you can realize your data, you can store your data, you can process your data. So the control plane always interacts with data planes via different mechanism. We'll talk about various mechanism and also how exactly they are getting interacted. The customer can connect to the control plane via single sign-on so it can be easily integrated with Azure AD and uh, that means you can realize uh, AD based authentication single sign-on mechanism to interact or to log in to the web interface with the Azure Databricks control plan. Now let's try to understand various network security features. There are four features. One is VNet injection which only can be supported with pricing tier standard plus secure cluster connectivity it also can be supported with st minimum standard uh, pricing tier and azure private link support which is only supported with premium that means it is not supported in standard and also ip access list can be covered with premium tier let's try to understand all these features one by one so when you create a databricks Let's talk about the virtual network in injection. When you create the Databricks, by default, the Databricks can be created with a Microsoft managed virtual network. That means the virtual network will be created by Microsoft in its own space. That is not a customer managed virtual network. That means the network security groups and the rules is not in the control of customer. Now, you also can do that. That means you can provision the Databricks with your customer managed virtual network. You can create your own virtual network where you can deep dive your rules. That means in network security groups in it. That means you can control which system or which sources can reach your Databricks and which sources cannot reach your Databricks. Again, from the Databricks, if you want to create a secure connectivity to the past services, you can do that via a secure network, via the implementing a private link endpoint, a service endpoint that will be completely in your control. If you want to connect your Databricks to your on-premise system also, you can follow as it is your custom network, you can follow the secure connectivity channels that means express route or VPN gateways to connect to your on-premise systems. If you want to connect to internet, then also from your custom custom network via the uh, uh, appliances with user defined route uh, you can reach out to uh, internet via the appliances like azure firewall and others this is how with customer 
custom managed uh, virtual network that means with your own virtual network you can establish secure connectivity to various sources now let's try to understand the second approach secure cluster connectivity with secure cluster connectivity databricks runtime cluster has no public ip that means your cluster the the virtual machines which is getting provisioned uh, inside the cluster will never have any public ip second customers virtual network has no open ports that means the connectivity will be completely in the private also it reduces network administration that means no need of extra nsg rules this is the beauty of secure cluster connectivity second databricks third databricks private link endpoint there are two type of private link endpoint which has been supported by databricks one is front end private link second is back end private link the front end pri private link is being used by the users to connect azure databricks web apps rest api or adb connect api and back end private link is more for the azure databricks runtime cluster to azure uh, databricks workspace core services that means from your cluster to your azure databricks workspace core uh, services you can create a secure connectivity via the private and uh, back end private link the last one ip whitelisting with ip access list you can configure azure databricks workspace so that users connect to those services only through existing networks with a secure perimeter that means you can specify the ip addresses or cid ranges on the public network that are allowed access and also you can suppress let you do not you do not want a set of ips not to reach your databricks that also you can set as a deny rule inside uh, in the ip whitelisting area so that those sources cannot reach to your azure databricks as well in this way you can establish with this all four mechanism you can establish a secure connectivity or secure network security across your databricks so this is all about databricks network security as well as high level uh, design we will cover in detail many of the features later on with various part of azure databricks uh, videos uh, i have gathered all this information by uh, following the microsoft link they have really written a very good uh, detail about uh, the network security about the azure databricks i would highly recommend please follow this video links and try to get the information these links are available in the video description thanks a lot for watching and happy learning